Hey, and welcome back. Uh, this week we are going to be talking about safety harnesses. We've got a couple of different brands here. So we've got Dragonfires and the Pro Armors. Uh, these uh, are 3 inch um, and 3 inch. I do have one 2 inch we can just compare as well. Uh, we'll just have a look and see what the differences are. I mean, box sizes and so on, they actually look very similar. Um, we've also got the harness bar to put in today. This is a Dragonfire harness bar. Um, and if you've never used one or know what one is, we'll explain it. Um, but let's get into seeing the differences or not so different uh, between the Dragonfires and the Pro Armors. Okay, let's start with the Dragonfire. Um, three inch traps, uh, padded, uh, four point harness. Um, comes in a bunch of different colors. Let's open this one up. Pretty plain. Um, pull these right out so you can actually see them. Some instructions on the bottom. Feel the heat. Instructions on how to do them up. Good, good. How to mount them. And this is where the harness bar at the rear comes in. We'll talk about that later. They kind of show, show it here. This is kind of why you need the harness bar. You want the right angle to come in. You, uh, if we secured it to the roll cage, you'd have an angle, negative angle, uh, pulling down and more on your shoulders. So what the harness bar is, is gives it more of a straight across pull. There's pressure on your body. Hopefully you don't get in an accident that is that bad, but if you do, it will work. About it for there. I'll pull them both out once I open these both up. So Pro Armor, again, three inch, four point harness. And four point is just that it uh, secures one, two, the back, and one on the side, and one on the side. It's a four point. Uh, you can get these in uh, a bunch of different colors too. I have gone with orange. These are the ones I'll actually be installing. So, in some nice instructions. We actually, what do we get here? UFO, uh, no, it is a light, okay, cool, that's something you don't get with the Dragonfire. Um, there was a slight difference in prices, um, I mean, it was probably only $20, $30 difference in price, and that, and first you'll see probably why did it go with these, um, it gives you a couple of pockets on the front, uh, for phone and whatever else you want to carry. This Velcro and more heavy duty pocket in there. Um, but let's pull them right out and have a better look at them, lay them out, see what the differences are. Okay, laid out. Uh, let's start at the bottom. So at the bottom, they generally look the same, except for badges. You've got very, pretty much exactly the same buckles. Again, just badges changed. Very similar, well, pretty much exact. Let's say that. Uh, yeah. And if I had them the same color, you would think they're the same straps or harness. 
Then as we come up, slightly different system here, but we'll still fairly easy system to use. Tighten your straps. Again, the two pockets on the side, on, on the dragon. Uh, both are, are padded, sewn in. And then where they get a little bit different is securing them at the, the tops. So these are bolt, and then the dragon just loop around the uh, harness bar at the back. And you put them on. So slightly different there. Um, you make your own opinion where you think being bolted down is better or uh, having these strapped around the harness bar. Uh, the Pro Armor kind of looks like a better product. I mean, for slightly more dollars, um, I think I'd still go with this. Uh, the Dragon, I mean, for basic, it works. Uh, I'd have no doubt about that. Um, you can get different colors, so it's really just down to personal preference what you'd want you want the dragon or the pro armor um, again I've gone with the pro armor so we'll get to installing that uh, first off first off we'll uh, put that harness bar in and yeah then we'll start putting these actual harnesses in okay so I've already taken the clamps off save you the torture of watching it in fast speed uh, they do say to line this up with the plastics and I'm not going to do that, I can adjust this later on if I need to um, so you can get different um, harness bars so you can get them, I went for this one just because it had more structure to it you can get the ones with just a single bar here that connects across side to side I'm sure they work fine, I just wanted more structure at the back here for other things I'm going to be doing and that um, so yeah okay let's get this uh, seated in here uh, in front of the uh, rad and we'll clamp it down and then we'll move on to uh, setting those harnesses up Okay, we've got the harness bar in, leveled up. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, I did just use a level, just to give me a rough idea of where I need to be. Um, again, they just said to line up with the plastics, have a bit of clearance from the from the plastics themselves. Um, I'm not worried about the cowling right now. If I need to adjust this, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Just this uh, secures with uh, six Allen key. Uh, bolts on both sides, clamps on, and actually surprisingly pretty rigid in that. So, so you can see why. So the reason you need the harness bar is your roll cage bar, the, your nearest bar to actually secure your four point harness two is way down here, which would say again put a negative pull on you. So with the bar, it raises it, raises the bar, and. Uh, yeah, we can secure the harnesses to here, through the seat, and a lot more enjoyable in case you do have an accident and it won't pull as hard on you. But yeah, let's start putting that in now, those harnesses. Um, we're going to have to take out the old seat belts, get rid of those. Um, yeah, and then we'll start putting in the new full point harnesses. So we've got the first seat belt out. Um, you do have to remove the uh, side plastics here to get to the uh, one nut and bolt in here. Most of them are nut and bolts uh, removals. This one, the one down there. Um, the only one that isn't that's uh, you have to lock tight uh, back in is this one that's actually connects to the chassis. Um, but we've got that one out so we'll just install this first one on this side and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, so we've mounted the lower harness straps. 
Now when you install them make sure that they not decent and flat you wouldn't bolt you know these to the ground they do show you a diagram there that yeah you want these flats that are pulling pulling up and there's no undue stress on them the other one on the other side here um, so yeah let's put the seat back in and then we'll run them top part through the seat and screw them to the harness bar okay so I got those top straps secured over the new harness bar it might need a bit of adjustment just to drop a bit lower so it comes through the holes in the seat a bit better but I'll deal with that a bit later on I opted not to go with the bolt down um, I had nothing close or accessible so I didn't really want to muck around with that so I've gone through with the just like the dragon uh, straps to secure them through the top harness bar but let's jump in it let's see how they feel uh, I've adjusted them already they are quite snug give you that you're not gonna, which is what they're supposed to be Secure the bottom one. Oh, suck it in. Feels good. So the biggest complaint people have is that the three inch will rub on your neck and you can feel it on your neck and I guess it's really depending on how rough the roads you are. I mean this is an off-road vehicle so you're gonna be moving a lot but I don't know if you can sort of get used to it. People say they deal with it just for the use. It is safer. They do like the uh, three inch strap. Um, we will have a look at the uh, the two inch one I've got there uh, after we get out of this. But no, feels good. And that, I mean, if you want to check your uh, things up here, your phone, if you want to have it that close to your face, it's on. You've got things up there for that. Uh, Feels good. I like it. And easy to get out of. So here's the two inch one. Pretty much exactly the same as your uh, as your three inch, other than the size of course. Um, still got the pockets. Um, I can see it being a little more comfortable on your uh, on your shoulders not cutting it as much uh, just because not so wide you've got a bit more room to, to maneuver there um, I guess with three inches you just feel more secure uh, I guess personal preference to yourself uh, it seems like a lot of people go for the three inch uh, width size than these two inch um, maybe if you had uh, youth this could be good for uh, child size maybe there yeah. Uh, again, uh, if you, I think if you didn't want it cutting it in on your uh, your neck, your shoulders there so much, you could go with this. Um, but I'll stick with the uh, the three inch. Um, same connections at the bottom and so on. So it's very similar, other than its width. So personal choice on that one. So there we go. They're all in. A pretty easy install. Um, and again, I mean, it's really down to preference whether you want uh, the Dragonfire or Pro Armor. Um, really, say for me, it was just just the extra pockets, just just in case I needed a bit of storage there. Otherwise, if you don't want that, yeah, you can go a little cheaper in price and go the uh, Dragonfire, which doesn't seem any less in quality. And you can get all the same colors, so really it's down to you. Um, nope, that was... Uh, Fairly easy. They look nice. So, yeah, nice easy short one this week. Like if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more on this build. And we'll catch you next week.